hi angels welcome back to another resin video so in this video we're going to be making another resin clutch purse i've been doing a ton of these because they're absolutely fun they're easy to make you can do whatever you want with them so since valentine's day is coming up hopefully i post this video before then but since valentine's day is coming up and i've bought these um we call it confetti glitter about eight last year or the year before that so i have had it sitting around for a while so i was like let me just use it now since i found a new technique while making these clutch purses so i'm mixing up all of my colors i did two different type of pinks now i'm doing some white and then some red all the colors for valentine's and my glitter everything in this video is from amazon honestly I don't think I got nothing else anyplace else. And I will leave the link down in the description box of everything down below. Like I usually do. Just click on the link. And ba bam It will take you to the stuff that I'm using. And in this last little container. I don't know how, but a little piece of hair got into the resin. So I'm just trying to get it out before I start mixing in there my red pigment this red is not red enough for me it's like obviously it's a different brand but it's not very red so i try to add as much as i possibly can and let's add it into the mold i mix everything up i mix it up and i let it sit for like a few minutes so the bubbles or the chunky pigment that i didn't mix up properly can just rise to the top and i just go over it with my lighter and then mix it up again so that's what I'm doing right here. This pink looks so pretty. Pouring down some pink on both of the moles. Then going down with some red. You can see that it's two different brands because the first one is more vibrant. The other one looks very pale. But it's fine. And now I'm going down with some white. As you can see, there's some part of the mold that doesn't have any resin so on one side the resin was seeping out so I just had to tilt it so that everything can just go together perfectly and I just put the stick underneath it because I realized that it wasn't a level there was some part that was higher than the other part so I just did that real quick and yeah just making sure that everything is laying down flat there's no bumps or anything like that I'm just going over in it with my lighter just to pop in in tiny bubbles if there's any you never know I think after this dried and everything a bubble um came up at the side I could be wrong it could be on a different person I made but we're gonna see so now with my little spatula I'm just gonna be mixing up the pigments together so you can have that little swirly effect after doing that, I'm just going over it again with my lighter, just in case if there's any bubbles. And I'm going to let this layer dry for a full 24 hours. So it has been 24 hours and this is how they both look. But honestly, it's been more than 24 hours because I started this like the day before. So it was, it was more than 24 hours. So I'm showing you guys the confetti, the Valentine's confetti and the three glitters that I'm going to be using. I didn't show you guys this, but the shaker part of the mold, the little tiny mold, I add on in there some clear resin. So obviously, oh, I didn't tell you guys, we're making a shaker clutch resin purse. I don't know how I forgot that, but like, yeah. And this is how it looks in the sun. One of them I add a little bit more white than the other one. So that's, that's the only difference I see. I'm going to be popping it out of the mold. I should have checked on it because you can see, dun 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 dun, it was not fully cured. So the sides are very bendy, so I'm trying to flatten everything out, making sure that there's nothing underneath it so that it can dry while it's outside of the mold. And the shaker part, I'm just removing it out of the mold as well. It's just some simple clear resin. And you can see that there's some extra resin at the side, so I'm not to use my exacto knife or my scissors to just cut it off. But the both of them are not dry, so I have to let everything dry 
for another 24 hours so but look at it it looks so good that's gonna be the front technically that's gonna be the front of the bag and i love it love it love it love it so i'm just fixing the sides making sure that it's good so this is going to be the last part the shaker part of the mold obviously you got oh i didn't show the process of me making it i just put in some clear resin that's it but these Valentine's glitter chunk, not glitter, Valentine's confetti, I'm putting it on top of one of the purse. And I should have, I should have known that it was too much. I should have taken some off, but I did not. So now I'm adding in there all of my glitters. I'm using three types of glitters on there. Now around the shaker part of the mold, not mold, the shaker part. I'm just adding on there some UV resin. Then I'm just going to pop it on there. And obviously I placed them way too much so it wasn't sticking on there. So I had to apply pressure with my hand. And I'm just using my UV light to dry around the edges. While still applying pressure. I should have shaken it up a little bit. Yeah. So many things I should have done. But it's fine. I still think that it turned out pretty good. So I'm just making sure that all of the edges are completely dry because obviously I don't want anything to leak out. And I forgot to drill a hole up top. So I had to do that really quickly because how else am I going to put the baby oil in there? So now I'm just going back over the edge again with some more UV resin just in case if there's any spills. And you can see all of my acne on my face. <laughs> so after everything is dried, fully cured... Now with my little squeeze bottle with my little baby oil in there. And that's going to be putting it in. That sounds weird. But I will be filling it up. And you can already see all the glitters. It looks so good. And I'm trying to shake it around because obviously you can see in the center I put way too much confetti, way too much glitter, so nothing was moving around properly. So I was very worried about that. Eventually, it it was moving. Some stuff got stuck onto the edge because I put a little bit too much UV resin around the rim, but that's fine. I'm also waiting till all of the bubbles rise up. Make everything seep all the way through. Making sure that everything looks good. And I'm filling it up with more baby oil. Making sure that there's not a lot of space and stuff like that. I'm just sitting there watching it. I'm putting my thumb around where I drill and then flipping it upside down to see if it's good or not. If it's going to be shaking. Because remember, the center part of it is not moving around. Like Everything is just stuck right there in the middle. See, I'm still checking up on it. And you can see right there that I'm pressing down on the center. So everything started leaking out. I was like, oh, god damn it. Because I forgot to cover the hold. But I cleaned it up and everything was good. Filling it up with more baby oil. You can see that it's just going all the way down. I thought that there was a spill. It was leaking out around the edge. But I was completely wrong. So, hallelujah. Because I'll just be wasting product. So after that, I was like, okay, that's good. That's the best it can do. So I'm going to go over it again with my UV resin around the hole that I drill. And then I'm going to be using my UV light to cure everything. Shaking on it to make sure that it dries. Deciding that it needs to be on it for like 30 more seconds. And checking it again. I'm like, okay, it's good. Now I'm flipping it around to make sure that everything is good. Shaking it up. Shaking, shaking, wiping it down. Like, okay, that's good. So I'm taking out the second piece because I did not demold it. And now I'm just putting it back together. I didn't show this process, but I use E6000 glue to glue the bag together. And that was it. It works perfectly fine and it's so cute. I got a little bit of some resin up top. But I can simply just fix that. So this is how it looks. And this is it. Honestly, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, I feel like if I add too much, 
too much um too much glitter it was three types of glitter and it was just too much i should just stick with one glitter and then just call it a day i thought the, the glitter just overpowered everything because if you keep on shaking up the bag then all you see is the glitter if you just let it sit and just move it around a little bit then you can see all of the valentine's confetti and i think that's cute that's what i wanted but i just went way too heavy with the glitter but it looks good it's kind of beautiful i'm gonna try to remake this maybe i will maybe i won't we'll see if i'm not obsessed with it dun, dun. look at it all that glitter you're gonna see how it looks with the glitters and without the glitter like when the glitter is not fully overpowering it hopefully i didn't delete <laughs> the second part because I fast forward some of the videos and I just let it do its magic but it looks pretty good and I have nothing else to say this part is just absolutely long and I don't feel like cutting it because it looks so pretty okay so this is how it looks if you're not shaking it up or anything like that, that's just how the bag is going to look. And I think that is so cute. And when it's sitting, all three glitters that I add in there just sit at the bottom. And it just looks, it looks cute, honestly. But I'm just flipping it so you guys can see. She is very pretty. Everything about it is so cute. What I was thinking was the love heart confetti that I placed in there. I should have glued it down as the background. So it doesn't matter if I was, it doesn't matter about the rest of the confetti. That one, as long as the bag is sitting still, you would have seen the heart with the love inside of it. That would have been cute. But I honestly did not think about that until I finished up everything because... I wanted that to be shown more. All right, I could have just put it on top. Either way, it would have still looked good. But I'm just shaking up the bag again so you can see. And it looks with all the confetti. Okay, so this video is like 13 minutes long. And I absolutely have nothing else to say. Except, thank you if you watched the video all the way through. <laughs> Those 12 people that always watch my videos, really appreciate it. Uh, if you're new and you're just finding my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you in my next video. Toodaloo!